Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. G'day Tiger fans, welcome to Raw Vision, brought to you by Metro Solar, and today I'm joined by Reese Conker, who's going to have a chat about his current hamstring injury. Reese, you must be pretty frustrated, mate, at the moment. Yeah, obviously it uh, hasn't been an ideal start to the year for me personally, but um, you know these are just things you've got to deal with, and yeah. um, you know it's like people say, it's still quite a long year, so just trying to knock it on the head and hopefully finish the year strong. Yeah. This is your second hamstring injury this year, is that right? Yeah, so it's the same side, it's just a bit of a recurring thing at the moment. Um, so it's just a specific sort of strength issue that we've sort of um, identified. Um, so just going to nail that, get the strength right up and just sort of progress as it comes. You know, we're not really putting a time schedule or anything on it. So um, yeah, just playing it week by week. Is it in the same spot? It's on the same leg, but same area or not? Yeah, so it's the left hammy. Um, so it's, it's down low, so it's not too serious. Yeah. Uh, it's more just the fact that it's you know, a recurring issue yeah. in the same spot. So we've just got to get all over it and you know, think more of a long term yeah. um, instead of short term at the moment. It's not a tendon issue, is it? It's in the actual muscle? Or? It was a little bit of tendon, um, yeah. but nothing serious. So um, yeah, like I said, just got to get all over it and just really strengthen it up. And you were nearly back too, you'd played a couple of games in the VFL, so nothing more frustrating than that. Yeah, so I was, um, yeah, really coming on really strong, got a full game under my belt, um, and then, yeah, my second full game out in Werribee, cold Friday night, probably didn't help, but, um, yeah, start of the second quarter, just sort of felt it go. Um, but, yeah, you know, that's footy, and um, I'll just bide my time in rehab and just come back strong again. Having had in hamstrings myself in the past, sometimes you've got to have a look at, I guess, different ways of rehabbing them. Are you, are you doing anything different this time around? Yeah, we are actually. So we've just sort of um, identified that it's more of just like a sort of a, a change of direction yeah. um, sort of issue. Um, so we're just going to rehearse that over and over and make sure it's bulletproof this time and, um, you know, just stop any issues sort of creeping back later on down the track. So what? how far into it now are you? I saw you out here this morning running pretty well with Dave Asprey. So... Yeah, you haven't put a time frame on it, but what, two, three weeks maybe? Yeah, hopefully. I'm probably coming along a little bit quicker than anticipated, which is yeah. good. Um, but without putting a time schedule on it, it sort of helps because um, you can sort of ease into it. There's no pressure on you, um, you know, physically. So, yeah, I ran really well this week, um, especially this morning. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's, you know, only a couple of weeks. But, um, you know, if it's an extra one or two, it's not really too big an issue, especially with the team going so well. You know, there's no real rush to come back. Now you did. You went over to Perth with the team. It would have been good to get home and see the family for a few days. Yeah, no, it was perfect. I always love getting back home to Perth. Um, hadn't been back since Christmas, so yeah. um, catch up with mum and dad and all the good mates back home. Um, especially off such a good win on Friday night. Yeah. Um, you know that was great. So yeah, flew back last night and back into training. When you're out injured, it's always a bit nicer to watch the team winning. The, the boys have hit some real form in the last month. Yeah, it definitely helps us in rehab. Um, you know, it takes a bit of pressure off us and, you know, the vibe around the club's, you know, just so much more positive. Um, even when we were losing, you know, the, we were still really positive. Yeah. Um, you know, team meetings were really good. Um, you know, we're just making sure that we're really nailing, you know, all team structures and stuff. And I think that's what sort of got us back into our games is yeah. everyone's on the same page. You know, we've really stuck to our guns and everyone's just, you know, just playing the way we should be playing. And, yeah, yeah it's great to watch. And it's great to be a part of, especially the last three or four weeks. So your focus now would probably be the last couple of months of the year you'd be looking to get back and finish off strongly. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, with the team going so well and, you know, us really having a, a strong push for finals, um, you know, it's like everyone says, week by week. It's the same with rehab. So, um, you know, I'm just going to get my body right. Um, not really, really thinking too much about footy at the moment. Um, obviously, still, you know, thinking about team structures and making sure I'm all over that. But um, get the body right and hopefully, you know, we're finishing really strongly and I can sort of add a bit of my own personal form to the team. Yeah, definitely. What about uh, when you're out injured? Have you got something else going on outside of footy to, to get your mind off it? Yeah, I think that's really important. So um, I'm doing some youth work stuff, yeah. um, which I've just started, a bit of volunteer work at the um, Royal Children's Hospital. So um, yeah, I just find that if I'm keeping busy and trying to help other people, it sort of you know helps me out individually as well. So yeah, that's been really good. Well, mate, good luck. You're uh, due for a change of luck and we look forward to seeing you later on in the year. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Richard.